Okay, we're going to turn now to a GMA health alert. New questions about the risks associated with a popular cosmetic procedure called cool sculpting. According to reporting in the New York Times, the chances of it causing a serious side effect may be higher than previously thought. Stephanie Ramos is here with more on this. Good morning to you, Stephanie. Hey, good morning, Juju. It is so popular. So many people have considered cool sculpting, especially after having kids. It is FDA cleared. It's meant to remove stubborn fat and tone muscle without the surgery, but a new report shows the side effects may be higher than expected. This morning, cool sculpting. It's the non-invasive body contouring fat removal procedure that may help you lose your belly fat and love handles. But now a new report in the New York Times says the chances of developing a serious side effect may be higher than previously reported. I spoke with over a dozen doctors who all said that they think the side effect is underreported by the company and this is something they've either observed in their own practice or have noticed in research. Cool sculpting works by freezing fat cells in targeted areas, which causes some fat cells to die. But for some people, it can cause a serious adverse effect called paradoxical adipose hyperplasia, or PAH, where tissue enlarges in the treatment area, increasing the number of fat cells rather than decreasing them. I looked pregnant, like I was carrying triplets. Gina D'Addario tried cool sculpting in 2017 on her midsection. She says it took years for doctors to figure out what exactly was wrong. They called me obese um, to get gastric bypass, and I'm begging like something's not right. This is I'm not obese. I've been physically fit my whole life. Gina's PAH was diagnosed by plastic surgeon Dr. Chris Funderburg, who says since 2019, his office has treated more than 400 women with the complication. Gina's case was one of the worst I've ever seen. It's been an exponential increase in patients presenting with this, really stemming back to Linda Evangelista's initial story. In 2021, supermodel Linda Evangelista went public with her claim that cool sculpting left her brutally disfigured and subsequent surgeries left her unrecognizable, which she said disrupted her storied 30 year career. Evangelista suing Zeltic Aesthetics, the maker of cool sculpting, now owned by Allergan for $50 million. The case has since been settled. The New York Times asking why it took a celebrity to come forward for more people to be aware of this side effect and reporting the risk may be higher than previously known. Not reporting to the FDA, the complicated way in which these numbers are presented, and, and just like the, the lack of connection that patients are able to make between their procedure and the side effect, all of these factors played a role in that happening. Allergan, the maker of cool sculpting, telling ABC News since FDA clearance, reported serious adverse events are closely monitored and that important safety information on their website and provided to practitioners includes the current reported rate of about one out of 3000 treatments. Dario says she has spent more than $42,000 on procedures to reverse the damage done by cool sculpting. Dr. Funderburg thinks the numbers of PAH are going to rise as more patients realize what's happening and they come forward and that more studies need to be done on PAH. Guys, oh, that is clear. Okay, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.